Sometimes when you've recorded your piece, you find that you want different instruments to have different volumes at different times. So, um, for example, on this recording here, I've decided that this guitar part is loud enough there, but when it gets to here, I feel that it's too quiet. So to do things like this, we use a tool called Automation. Automation is accessed by pressing this Automation button at the top, or pressing the A key, A for Alpha, or A for Automation, obviously, on your computer keyboard. For today, I'm going to click this button to make it obvious when I'm going into Automation. So the first thing I need to do is go into that, and to make my life easier, I'm going to zoom in vertically and horizontally. So, as I said, I'm happy with the volume of this guitar part at the start. Just so it's absolutely clear which part I'm dealing with, let's just listen to that soloed. I think if that gets any louder, it's going to be quite distracting. So if I look here now at this guitar part, let's listen to that on its own. So all I need to do is literally just with the pointer tool in Logic, just click to create handles that will act as volume changes. So I'm going to put a handle where I want things to stay the same. So that part is going to stay exactly like that. And a handle either side of the part that I want to be louder. Now if I click in the middle of that handle, oops, I can create a new one. I wanted to do that a bit further over and you see it creates a volume curve. Again, I'm going to create another handle there and drag up, and you can see the volume turn up as we go along. Just watch this fader here. See the volume creeps up as we come to the curve. And it will creep back down now as we come to the end of the curve. So we can actually make that a much more dramatic curve. We can make it go much faster by bringing it along there and come down much faster by bringing it along here. So let's watch the difference that makes to the speed at which this fader moves. Coming to the curve. And coming out of it. So let's listen to how that affects the first part is exactly the same volume. So in context, that now sounds like this.